<laughs> hey kids, it's time for another exciting episode of KW Judas! <laughs> Sensor here on KW Judas Free Radio Provo. That's me. That's you. That's me. It is ye. Um, where do you come from and where are you going? <laughs> so um, I come from San Diego, California. Um, but I guess if you're talking about where I came from yesterday, I was in Corrales, New Mexico yesterday. And I will be in Twin Falls, Idaho tomorrow. How long have you been on tour? Good question. I've been on the road since September 15th, and my last show is this Saturday, so November 13th. So in total, it's 60 days that I would have been on the road. Jesus. It's like eight and a half weeks, yeah. <laughs> what in the hell made you want to do that? Well, so it's going to sound even crazier because I did my first ever tour this year in the spring, and it was 45 so this days. Is- Two tours in one year. Yeah, so in total, it's been over 100 days on the road on tour this year. And this is the first year I've ever torn before. So I was like, toured before, not torn. So I I, I like it. (laughs) (laughs) I got what you were saying. (laughs) Yeah, so like, go big or go home, I suppose. But I'm so thankful that, you know, even with touring this time of year, that I did not come into a single snowflake. I'm Just wait. Oh, damn. Yeah, I'm grateful. I'm all I need to do is make it through Saturday, and then I would have avoided it completely. They're so. close. You made it through Utah with only a little rain. Yeah, thank God. So thank God. And it's kind of funny how I said we've only had a couple of touring acts this season uh, for obvious reasons. Um, 
and it's funny how almost every time, the few times we've had one, the weather sucks. <laughs> Usually. This time it wasn't too terrible. Yeah, no, it wasn't It wasn't too bad at all. But as I was telling you earlier, for November, this is actually pretty good. See, and I was cold. I was outside and I was like, huh, I need a winter coat. It's I didn't, cold. I didn't bring a jacket. No? Yeah, look it's how nice scantily outside. clad it's the nice wizard is. right now, I think. <laughs> It is for November. I mean, yeah, we were oh, just no, night is, fishing yeah, the is, other night. And this is dank for November. <coughs> Excuse me. These two were just over here the last weekend. We were out at like 2 a.m. shooting a video, and nobody needed a jacket or anything. Nope. That's awesome. Pretty, uh, in November. Yeah, in Utah. exactly. It just like, keeps getting nice. warmer and warmer. But there's no global warming. Right. None whatsoever. <laughs> it's a myth. <laughs> I just don't know what happened to all the snow. Um, or our glacier? Uh, where did last go? I checked, coldness is usually what causes snow, and warmth is kind of what causes the lack thereof. True story. Hey, that was verified by a wizard, so that's been fact checked, folks. It has <laughs> been double, double, triple stamp, repeated, fact checked. <laughs> Indeed, <laughs> I got it notarized last week, actually. Ooh. So you just knew this was going to happen. Yeah, I'm. I'm today, at this <laughs> particular occasion. <laughs> I think it, he has like one of those future I went down radios. To the and was like, so I'm going to get asked this question in about a week. If warmth, and you know, if warmth melts the snow and the ice, like, yep, they notarized that shit for me. So you're good. It's a good thing you did that because I think it was up in the air. There was some confusion about it. I definitely wasn't sure until right now. There was now. some confusion about it. All right. Global warming has been proven. <laughs> it's been notarized. It's, it's happening. It's so for all you uh, you flat earthers out there <laughs> <laughs> who don't believe in global fucking warming, <laughs> believe. we've got news for you. In fact, we've got a lot of uh, uncovering to do. Yeah, some updates for you. Throughout this episode. But until then, let's have another song. Yeah. Okay, so and what was the name of that last song? Oh, yeah. yes. So the name of that first song was called Die For Me. It's actually the first song that I recorded and put out on the internet when I was maybe like 16 or 17 years old. It's based on a fictional story about someone who gets cheated on and then just wants to kill their ex. Hmm. But fictional story. I, I didn't write that based on a true experience. Somebody else did. Uh <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, I swear it's based off of a 100% fictional well, You story. just read it in a Goosebumps book, and you're like, I'm going to write a fucking song about it that. Was, uh, again, it's going to sound weird, and you can laugh at me Judas. if you want to, but it it was like a random thing that like came into my brain, and I was like, I should write a story about that, like a fic- like if this happened to somebody, but like it didn't actually happen to anybody. I mean, it happens to people all the time. But. I was going to say it. I think yeah. it has. You know, it happens to people all the time, but the inspiration specifically for that song I wasn't picturing anyone specific and I, I wrote gotcha. it just That's a cool. fictional story in my head it's cool that you're able to do that thanks I, I do a lot of that I write songs based off of not real life events that are based off of mine or someone else just kind of like things that I imagine and picture and then just kind of write a song based off of that yeah that's how you write Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> That's how true writers write. <laughs> so what's the name of this next one? So this one's called I Love You More. Uh, it's really sappy. I'm sorry in advance. Um, is it based on... It is! Uh, uh, okay. This one's based on a real story. It's a, All right, it's then about, you do have to apologize for being sappy. I do, yeah. All right. It's about um, being hopelessly in love with your best friend. Oh. I know. Yeah, I hate, don't you hate that? <laughs> All right. Well, I'm sure that everyone out there can relate to that, even if your best friend is a horse or a dog. Oh, that I feel okay, like that got weird. Judas. Yeah, like <laughs> that just got weird. Everybody has a best friend. Uh, okay, Judas, are you telling us more information about yourself than you should be? I have never had a horse, <laughs> and <laughs> I've never had. <laughs> I had a dog for a short period of time, but. <laughs> Not, <laughs> not long enough to get that attached to him. So, <laughs> no. <laughs> this is based off her experience, not mine. Okay, sorry. <laughs> sorry, it's I didn't mean really to make weird, that Jesus. weird. 
This song is not about a dog or a donkey, folks. If your best friend is not a dog or a donkey, <laughs> hopefully you can connect with this one. We have CC Center here on KW Judas. <laughs> Free Radio Provo. <laughs> Oh, my 
You know, how sappy, huh? <laughs> I've heard sappier. I'm a Neil Diamond fan. Ooh, yeah. Then you then you definitely have heard sappier he's, before. He's saturated in sap. <laughs> but but he's just got climbing that. Climbing too many pine trees. He's got such a vibrant uh, baritone. Yeah. I just love it. It sounds great. It's he, he knows how to dish the sap. He does. He does. So I guess I should be happy that I'm at least not at that level yet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> or should you? Right. Or uh, right. Or should I? <laughs> you need uh, full on orchestral string accompaniment on Ooh. the big moments. You know, on the big yeah. parts. You know, and uh, maybe a brass section every now and then. Just to just really kind of accent. Yeah. The, mo- the you know the 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 big parts. Really draw out the emotion that I'm trying to get. You know. Right. Right. That would do it. That would do it. Uh, I might know a guy. Ooh, yeah. When I say might, that's a big stretch. I mean, might is still better than no, or like don't know, or never. Okay, I know lots of guys. <laughs> Are you sure? I, I I know I know lots of guys. I I know all the best guys. All the, all the guys you have. All, all the, the guys. guys. <laughs> <laughs> I have the best guys. Sorry, is it too late for a Trump reference? No, absolutely no. not. <laughs> it's never too late for a no. Trump reference. <laughs> Are you sure? Uh, yeah. I think I heard about enough of that dude for oh. the four years he was around. <laughs> but I don't know if you're ever going to stop hearing if about If you heard, him. he's still around. Oh, yeah, huh? He didn't just, like, go away. No. Neither did uh, all the guys that are all about him. Right. Yeah, no, they're still very much everywhere. I think the whole thing Unfortunately. Is, a dramatic lack of peanut shells. I mean, I love people, and I love them too. But I mean, they—they're unwoke. They're blind. There's something. What's with this woke shit? I thought that it, if blind. you were woke, then you knew about like Lady Gaga or something. No, didn't that what we decided? To do with music. If you, if you <laughs> know Judas, what the Gucci has game to do with is, music. It has nothing. <laughs> then, Judas, <laughs> you're fucking woke, Judas. dude. <laughs> if you look, if you know Lady Gaga, you must be woke. Is that is that your theory? <laughs> Put that on a shirt. <laughs> yes. It'll sell. It I'm will. Gaga it woke. It would. I'm Gucci woke. Gucci there you woke. Go. Gu- Gucci woke. <laughs> God damn it. I hate all. <laughs> we should have another song. We should definitely have another song, I think. Jesus. Yeah, that's the only way to end this misery. <laughs> I don't even know where else to take this fucking conversation. <laughs> Let's have another song then. <laughs> yeah. Do you want me to tell you what all these songs are about before I play them? Or Absolutely. Yeah, the story is always good. We like Absolutely. a good story. Yeah, we like okay. that. That's that's the point of this. Is yeah. Cool. So uh, this song is called "Careless Summer." It's basically what it sounds like. It's just you know, not you somebody know. named Summer who's really careless. Yes. Exactly. What a bitch. You know, that's actually not what it's about, but it gives me a new song idea though. <laughs> Well, you do a pretty good job at writing songs about like these situations, that things that, that don't exist. You didn't, cr- yeah. That you just yeah. kind of created that you yeah. didn't experience. So yeah, that's gonna make a great song. Summer, <laughs> what a lazy bitch, lazy summer. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna use that, and I'll give you songwriting credit on this. <laughs> lazy, stagnant, <laughs> fucking living with her parents at age forty. Summer. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. That's good. I'm going to remember that. Moldy (laughs) toenails. Eating bonbons. Watching Drew Carey host his new old... What the fuck show does he... The Price Price is Right. right. He does Wheel of Fortune now, doesn't he? He does? Summer. That was oddly specific. (laughs) (laughs) Just play the goddamn song or I just won't... I'll just keep going. (laughs) I'll play it just for you. KW Judas... Free Radio Bravo, this is just for you. And here's to all the stupidity From the people who act like you And me here's to all my friends And here's to the times we didn't think Of the people we'd screw The dreams we were drinking to those awesome nights And I don't quite remember them all But the nights I do remember I won't forget We're singing right on Light a dime, a dime And light up, light a dime, a dime We're singing 
The woo is nice, is it not? Always is nice. Always. Mm hmm. Good like old woo. One. Thank you. It was delicious. I also wrote that one when I was a teenager. Oh, I thought you were a teenager. How old do you think I actually am? I can't answer questions like that on the air. Judas, Come on now. It's not you polite. You have to now. Yeah, now you have to. It's a, it's a serious question. To. Judas. Seventy twelve. Seventy twelve. That's not real. Uh, let me get some of those nuts before they're gone. Ah, uh, come on, man. <laughs> you gotta guess her age. Come on, bro. I did. Seventy twelve is, is not real. Come on. It is. Look it up. It's Let's not. be realistic. There's if you want, seven, if you want these nuts, uh, you you're gonna play the game. These nuts. You're gonna play the game. <laughs> Stick them in your. <laughs> Where your thumb is, in my butt. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to pull it out first. <laughs> <laughs> Make room for some nuts. <laughs> Man, it's even at the the very bottom with all the, the salty <laughs> debris. You just He's not going to guess. Lick off Apparently, your fingers. There's no way Does anyone happening. have a guess? I fucking did. I don't know. Below 30. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> below 30. Yeah. I was going to say 22. Wow, thank you. 22 is still below 30. 22 <laughs> is still true. below 30. Do you have a guess, madam? 27. Bing, 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 bing. 27. On the nose. On the nose. Yeah, when I was 27, I was out touring 100 fucking dates in one year. Oh, my God. No, I don't anticipate me doing 100 plus days, you know, for every single year for the rest <sighs> of my life. I would be dead. I uh, would be it's dead. the rock star lifestyle, man. Oh my god, I would be dead. Well, I mean, at least you went out with a bang. Doing That's what you true. Love. You hey, right. give me those nuts now. Okay. Ha. I would miss my dog too much to be away from him 
for that much time in the year. Ah, uh, he's probably just sitting I brought there my chilling dog with me. Tonight. He is. He really is. I asked my boyfriend, "How's the dog doing?" And he's like, "He's chilling." Just sends me pictures of him like sleeping in his crate or sleeping on the couch. Literally, the dog like probably didn't even notice that I was gone. He's probably sitting there like, "You didn't write that song about me." Right. Probably not. <laughs> Unfortunately, my dog has the opposite. Like, if I leave for more than an hour, he'll eat his way out of the bathroom door. Oh, my Lord. He'll paw open the kitchen window and, and you know, leap from it to, to escape. He's, he's got separation <laughs> my anxiety. My word. What a nutsack. <laughs> he's he's more of a border collie uh, Dalmatian mm. mix. So but. just super fucking hyper and, yeah. oh, oh, my yeah. Lord. So I used to work at a dog daycare for High a anxiety. living. He was a rescue that was abused. Oh, and, no. And he finally found someone that loved him. And so when, oh. when I leave, he freaks out. When I get back, he cries and, like, paws at me. And, yeah, I know it's, it's pretty epic. When I'm gone for just two hours, when I come back, his reaction is humongous. Dogs can be he tried like to that. rabbit me, nephew. Tried to give him a rodring from the behind. <laughs> he we did. We saw a lot of dogs in daycare that had horrible separation anxiety. Like, even from us, if we just met them, they were like, wait, I'm screaming until you come back. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah they my, need to my, make some sort of a canine pacifier. A canine pacifier? They have those. They're like oh, they're called, like, chew toys. Oh, that's not quite the same. <laughs> Actually, I've seen a chew toy that looks just like a pacifier. There you so go. never mind. There you go. You uh, somebody beat me to it, damn it. You can I was going to say, right Durban Schlee can make it. <laughs> ah, fuck. He's outside. Was he the one that was barking at me when I was walking by the car? Yeah, yeah. I wanted to look at him to see what kind of breed of dog he was, but I didn't want him to think that I was, like, being threatening, so I didn't, like, stare at him for too long. Oh, but no, he's, he's, he's very not aggressive. He's, I he's figured the not. He's sweetheart. He just gets excited when he's stuck in the car and oh, sees yeah. other people. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't scared or anything. I just didn't want to accidentally yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. trick him into, like, thinking that I was, like, a threat or something. But I wanted to look at him because I... Love dogs with a passion. Dogs so, yeah, are like my gorgeous. second love you'll, you'll, in life. You'll get to meet him after the show. <gasps> sure. You definitely don't want to look at him, though. Wait, because... what are you talking about? Well, That's dogs... Medusa. You're confusing my dog with Medusa. You don't want to look at Medusa. Oh, no. I'm just going to say that if you look at a dog, you're just going to think you're a ghost. Why would it think that? Because ghosts always look at you funny. Uh, th- think about it. That doesn't make any sense. Then, yeah, okay, I, the reason calling. people are scared of Me ghosts either. is the way that a ghost fucking looks at them. Uh-huh. Like, if it, if a ghost wasn't looking at you, he's, like, minding his own business, you probably wouldn't be that scared of the ghost. It's like True. doing fucking laundry or some shit. Uh, or, no, like, a ghost turns library, around like as after he's, after he's doing laundry, you roll up on a ghost and he turns around and looks at you, you're like, Fuck! <laughs> If he just kept doing his laundry, you don't wouldn't be scared. Him. That's don't all look I'm at saying. Him. Just don't look at him. That's what, what I'm. That's all I'm saying. Is the a dog will think you're a fucking ghost if you look at him for too long. I feel like because dogs still be know scared. that that's what's up. They see spirits and shit. <laughs> I would still be scared. I think even if the ghost didn't look at me, because I just like wouldn't know what to I, do. I I couldn't help but maybe at least work up the gusto to be like, "Hey, <laughs> what are you doing?" And then when he looks up and he's like, doing laundry, I'm like, fuck! <laughs> and then you'd be doing laundry after you shat your pants. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I have Schlong Bob do that for me. Anyways, let's have another song. All right. We've been talking about ghosts and dogs way too fucking long. We can talk about dogs forever, but we won't. Well, I mean, I guess it's your show, but then you wouldn't get to play any music. That's true. I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't get to play any music. So what's the story behind this next ditty? Uh, it's kind of just a song about, you know, wanting to be with somebody or something that helps you feel like home even when you're, like, away from home. So it's kind of the perfect song, you know, to kind of listen to when you're on tour and away from home because, you know, if you had that person with you or whomever or whatever, you would at least feel like, you know, you are home even when you're not physically home if that makes any sense right yeah like this one could be about your horse or your dog right right no, yeah, i was gonna say that same thing it's just like <laughs> i take wolfgang with me everywhere and i feel like i'm home wherever i go gross <laughs> anyways being home is not gross judas <laughs> that's what you do with your dog what did you say you did with your dog <laughs> earlier <laughs> if i recall i didn't say nothing with no dog <laughs> I just said I didn't have him for very long. 
<laughs> I don't I don't remember specifying why. If I did, I'm gonna go back and edit it out. <laughs> Another song. Then I'll go about. back and edit it in. <laughs> the name of this one? Home. Home. I know it's appropriately named. <laughs> CC Sensor. <laughs> KW Judas, Free Radio Provo. Thank you guys all for listening. Sorry that all my songs are like super slow tempoed and about to put everyone. Oh in no, that's not a <laughs> not a problem at all. But I was going to interrupt anyway and say welcome to the middle of the show.
Is it the middle of the show? It's the middle of the show. <gasps> well, it's a little past it, but close hey, enough. Really? The show usually goes over, so it's still about the middle of the show. The middle of the show is not usually quite the middle of the show, folks. Just this so is you the know. mid. The semi but we're in mid swing here, and I have a wizard's useless fact for you. I was just going to ask. Of course, I have a wizard's useless fact for you. There's a company out there that's turning human bodies into coral, coral reefs in the ocean. You How? Can, you can pay to have your body like that. It's like a deep sea burial. They they put your ashes with mortar and make coral out of you. With mortar. Whatever it is, they're making the coral, the fake so coral it's fake out of coral. They make artificial coral. They make artificial reefs, and then the coral actually clings to them and grows on it, like they're doing it all over the world because corals are dying. That's some gangster shit. And places where the temperature has adjusted to to you know, no, it's it's a thing though. They're making coral out of dead bodies. You hear that, Look it folks? Up if you don't believe me, it's a thing. So if you want to be part of today's ecosystem, donate your body. To artificial coral. You know, if they can do that, they could probably put it in anything. You probably pay to have it done. I don't think it'd be donating it. Oh fuck me! <laughs> you, I mean, you pay for any kind of burial, you pay bro. To, I mean, come on. But we're building a fucking coral reef here. Yeah. I mean, like, you donate. You think you're donating right? materials? You think, you think to the construction of this new environmental endeavor? <laughs> You know, do the, do the does the mortar have to pay to be part of it? Yes, it did. That's it got ripped from its home, from its family, cozy with all of its other little mortarlings. That's fake news. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's fake news. <laughs> <laughs> and it gets pulled way away. And mixed with other mortarlings it doesn't is unfamiliar with, and then forced into place. Like, the, yeah, no, it pays the ultimate price. It is stuck there forever. The my bodies, friends. the bodies, yes, I can understand the bodies, but the the mortar, no, I don't see mortar. Build a wall so you don't have to see it, okay? I just think mortar <laughs> could. Actually, that's not a bad idea. We're gonna actually start <laughs> taking bodies. If you want to pay to have your body ground into the cement the oh, and put it into my fucking wall. You can donate your body. No, no. You pay. You pay. To be put into the fucking wall. <laughs> People would do it, man. They would. No Don't shit. Don't give Trump that idea. That's Don't evil. Don't give him that idea. Evil. That's evil. That's how he evil. will fund his wall. Fuck me. I, I would like, be yes, surprised Trump, if... I will pay to be part of your wall when I die. A bunch of rednecks start killing themselves. And that's and how he's going to build his wall. So you paying to this. have th- a one more brick put in the wall. <laughs> and they can say, I literally am a brick in the wall. <laughs> I have... All the people. All in all, <laughs> they'll all just become bricks in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how that conversation went that way, but there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I think Another that's useless fact in the middle of the show brought to you by the wizard. Well, usually uh, when our conversations get that idiotic, it's the cue for another song. <laughs> yeah, tell us about this next song. Right, so, please. <laughs> I was the uh, front man, front woman, whatever you want to call me. I don't care. Front person. Front person of a band back when I lived in um, Illinois. And this was a song that we wrote together. They did the What instru- was the name of the band? Tattooed Memory. You got to tell. Oh, wow. Why you That's a cool I, name. I just, I, I want to know more. Oh, like you want to hear more about the band? A little bit. What kind of music was it? Kind of all over the place. Um, so just to kind of give, good. yeah, just to kind of give you some examples, like some of the covers we would do, they ranged from Lincoln Park, Weezer, Flyleaf, um, Audio Slave. So you know, just kind of whatever we liked, and each of our songs were a little bit different in genre sounding. So we had one that sounded like you know a little bit more heavy, like. I don't know, like one you would like bash your head against the wall to. And then another one was more kind of like like pop rocky kind of. So you just did vocals or did you do guitar? Just vocals, which okay. was super cool because it was the first time I had done any sort of music project without my guitar. Right. Um, but it was cool because I got to, you know, like work the whole entire stage and, you know, jump into the crowd and do a, a bunch of cool rock star and stuff like that. And be a like front that. person. And be yeah. a front person that I, I don't do with this thing. I love all the bands I'm in, but I do got to admit it would be pretty fun to not have the instrument in your hands so you can just freak the fuck out. Yeah. Judas. And I still freak Judy the fuck crazy. out as much. <laughs> I, yeah, if I didn't have an instrument, I already, like, 
damage something or someone or myself. And does somersaults. Even <laughs> even with a fucking instrument in my hand. Um, anyways, so this next song. Yeah. Sorry, we got a little distracted. It's okay. But, but before we go to the next song, how long did the band last? Not very long. Um, the only reason why we didn't last longer was because I ended up moving to San Diego. But we were together for maybe about six or seven months. Oh. Just because when I had met them, um, we worked <sighs> together for a brief period of time. And they were new employees at the place that we all worked at. Word. Um, and so they conveniently were looking for a lead vocalist and I actually wasn't looking to join a band at the time but I had said I'll go to the audition I'll kind of see how this works out um and I guess they really liked me so from there we you know did shows and wrote songs and at that time I didn't know I was going to move to San Diego it was pretty sudden and happened pretty fast which is why we didn't last very long Right. Is that a bacon tattoo on your wrist? It is. It's my favorite food. I also not that anyone <laughs> asked, but I also have coffee tattooed on my arm because it's nice. my favorite drink. Nice. Awesomely. And yeah. the palm of your hand there. Oh yes, I have both of my palms tattooed: this tarantula and a mantis. Oh yeah. You oh, were that's talking about awesome. that earlier. We were. That's how I awesome. hate mantis. I was going. I was right. going to ask about them, but then I was like, I'm going to save that for the show because oh, and that. Oh, my Avenged Sevenfold that, tattoo because yeah, cool. I'm a weeb, and Avenged Sevenfold is my favorite band in the whole entire and planet. On that arm, you got what? You're a what? A weeb. The hell is that? Like a nerd. <laughs> it's so typically nerds? used in anime culture. Yeah. Listen to uh, yeah. Sevenfold. Yeah. Oh, Yippee. sorry about all the shit I was talking about emo earlier. Oh, I don't care. I bet Sheffield's not emo. <laughs> they're, they're like, you know what? A lot of people describe them as like Chad music. Chad you know, music. And like, everyone is like, I'm sorry. I'm like, don't apologize. I think it's Chad music too, but I still like it. So <laughs> whatever. I don't care if they're a Chad band. <laughs> Gross. I, even on this guitar strap, you can't see it because it's behind me, but it's like my own small, small, like custom made Avenge Sevenfold guitar strap because I am a Avenge Sevenfold nerd. I don't care. I, uh, I'm not going to lie. I mean, lots of people as, don't like them. As emo as they are. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I, I, okay, Judas. Actually, okay, Judas. <laughs> we were talking about this before the show. Um, I said all that knowing. I looked at your profile. I Did saw you? your Avenged Sevenfold shirt. <laughs> I was like, oh, fuck, this is what we're dealing with. <laughs> That's okay. Whatever. All right, I'll brace myself. Whatever. And you were also asked earlier if I've ever had a guest on that I just couldn't stand their music. That's me now, isn't it? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> but you said that you would be, so at least you warned me. Totally. Right. I did. I gave you a, a proper warning in advance. So let's hear some more. And I promise he's not over here responding to emails. <laughs> Since they're like your biggest influence. Oh my god, they're not. We're gonna- <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we didn't even ask her about her influences. That's How would true. You know? I the, who knows if I would say Avenged Sevenfold just because I like them and they're my favorite. That doesn't band. mean it was an influence. Right, Come on, Judas. We haven't asked her that influence. yet. Uh, I mean, you can see it bleeding through. Oh wait, <laughs> that's a. De- <laughs> god damn it! <laughs> I'm not going to say it, Judas. <laughs> oh, and you just like knock the speakers over. With I your do fat. That at least once a show. Oh, wow, what the hell? Uh, Sounded like we were in a balloon. <laughs> did. Without Square further balloon. ado, um, Square balloon. this next song, eh? It's called Karma, but has nothing to do with karma. I think it has nothing to do with karma. It's just about not worrying about the stuff you don't know about in the future and just kind of living in the moment and, and not worrying and about the past. Chilling out. And also not worrying about the past, yeah. Indeed. CC Sensor, KW Judas, Free Radio Provo. Thank you all for listening.
We have a little under 15 minutes left, so let's not waste any time and go right into another song, and then we're going to have a word from our sponsor, if that's all right. Yeah, let's see. Well, um, we're getting the telegram now from Derpenschle. So, yeah, they do it with the, but, yeah, the Morse tele- code. The old uh, They do it telegraph style, so it takes a minute to come through, and it's coming through now, and we're uh, translating it as they telegraph it through in Morse code. That's usually why... I- we can't really do it till the end of the show for the most part. Yeah, for yeah. Fucking ever. They, they never give it to us in advance. They always it. wait till during the show to start sending it. Right. So it's kind of a last minute thing. So what's the name of this next tune? Living in the Good Light. Uh, it's a song I wrote about uh, smoking weed and how I feel after smoking weed. That's it. Nice. I want to hear this That's one. That's the song. <laughs> it's, it's not propaganda, folks. <laughs> She has nothing to do with the Green Party, okay? (laughs) (laughs) K.W. Judas, Free Radio Provo. Take it away.
making sure we have our wings And when everyone's a hero's seen So I wanna go back to reality And just wanna dance in this blue Hey, Derpin' Kid, what are you listening to there? Oh, uh, just the new shit shingle from Gucci Guy, uh, Gucci Gaga. It's called We Dream O oh Face. Ah, uh, Derpin' Kid, you mean that song about falling in love with your best friend's horse? I, yeah, that's, uh, wait, what? Yeah, Gucci Gaga game. It's about fucking a horse. No. Uh, no, it is. It, you're lying. Well, not exactly fucking a horse, but wanting to fuck your friend's horse. That's that d disgusting. Why would you do that? Why, to connect with all the other horse fuckers out there who might feel the same way, my boy. Really, about 90% of today's mainstream music has secret best friend bestial references. Oh, whatever, Derpenschle guy. That's fake news. It's true. Oh, well, what about the one from Lil Mingos? It's about longing for that feeling of your dog's breath against the peanut butter in your crotch while you're away from home. Oh, how about Future Chain's last latest single? <laughs> Cutting a poo log in half with a steady stream of urine. Uh, is there anything wholesome on the radio these days? <laughs> Why, yes, there is. Here's Derpenschley's rare compilation of unknown Neil Diamond classics. <laughs> Sweet Caroline. <laughs> my best friend's horse peed on my dog. Oh, that's awful, Derpenschley guy. Why is Derpenschle always got to ruin everything holy? <laughs> oh, kid, it's just the Derpen way. And remember, if it doesn't say Derpen, it's not Derpenschle. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That was a word from our sponsor. And we have about enough time for two little baby songs or one big mommy-daddy song. Uh, how big is a big mommy daddy song? I don't know, like six minutes. Oh, okay, let's see. That's not a very big mommy daddy. That's like a, I don't know, maybe a pre teenager. That's an uncle song. <laughs> um, I think I'll just do the one. Something just got disconnected. <laughs> All right. Disconnected. What is the story behind this ditty? Yeah, so this song is called Regrettable Tattoo Decisions. Uh, that's the name of the song? That's the name of the that's song. That's great. I'm uh, sure this will connect with more people out there than any of them. So, <laughs> so I wrote this song because of a tattoo that I got that I regretted. So it's, you know, written off of my own personal true mm -hmm. story. I still have the tattoos. There's actually two of them. Um, eventually, I will get them covered up. Eventually. You're going to tell us what they are, right? You'll hear it in the song. Oh, I have to pay attention. You do have to pay attention. Aww. You literally only have to hey. pay attention to the first line. Judas, you can and that's now, it. <laughs> now you can pay attention because you're I'm done translating the telegraph coming from Derpenschley and Morse code, so you don't have anything else to do, so you can actually pay attention. Come on. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> For once, I'm finally going to pay attention to a song on this show. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What the fuck did you just say about this song? <laughs> oh, yeah. So it's just about... Uh, a regrettable ta tattoo. Yeah, regrettable okay, tattoo, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that part. Basically. Try to keep up. Um, but that's I'm, really... I'm, okay, I'm, I'm paying attention now. <laughs> All right. Now that the show's almost over. Right. Sorry, but that's I'm about it, really. <laughs> um, I don't know another person that's written a song about 
this before. Um, so if you if do, Avenge Sevenfold hasn't, then right, right. <laughs> I'm pretty sure no one else would. That's right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> the used. The used. <laughs> oh Christ! All right. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> The d- the dirty little secret about tattoos, yeah, that you regret, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I had a question, but I'll ask it. You after just is it about? Shut him up. Is it about? Do I? <laughs> <laughs> is it about? Do I have more tattoos than I regret? Than do you have an Avenged Sevenfold tattoo? I do. Is that the one? That's right. No, it's not about this one. <laughs> we already saw. It's not the about that one. Tattoo. That's we just what I was. Saw if it, if it ever becomes a regrettable tattoo, I will for sure write a song about it. <laughs> You'll have to send it to me. I will. Okay, cool. I will. The tattoo. Send me the tattoo. Send me the tattoo. Yeah. yeah. Yes. When you get it removed, it, I want the fucking tattoo. Yeah, I'll slice it off him. prison style yeah. and then send it to you in a frame. That's that's that's, that's what he it. means by yeah. when you have Look it at the removed, stuff I got hanging it. on my wall here, man. You don't think I would hang that up? You know that? There I are, totally would. There are some people when they die, if loved ones want their tattoos preserved, yes, they can do yep. that. Do they have to pay for it? They do. I want. God damn. Is yeah. there any way I can die without paying for it? No. No. <laughs> no, <laughs> Judas. I'm gonna, yes. Yeah, you can get eaten yes. by animals. If Yeah, if you swam out to the ocean and got ate by sharks, you would die for free. Yeah, any animal. Actually, no. Your family would still probably pay about ten grand for a funeral for yeah, you, probably. actually. That's on it them, though. still That's would cost money for you to die. Do. That's true. You wouldn't have to pay for it. And though. then that empty casket they put dead, in the ground <laughs> that cost them another three grand. I want my grave to be at the bottom of the ocean. You want to be coral? You want to be coral? No, I want them saying? to put a fucking grave down there. I want my whole fucking funeral procession to go on. <laughs> to be underwater? Yeah, with they a bunch of mermaids and Sebastian. <laughs> and he's going to be conducting oh, the orchestra. You want Sebastian there. A little fucking crab. And it's going to be Under Weird Al Yankovic's polka band Under being conducted by fucking Sebastian <laughs> the Crab. I've already got it all planned out. <laughs> he's been thinking about this for a long time. Well, I dream about it. You're like at your own funeral. Doesn't anyone ever dream about that? I don't. Your own funeral? Uh, no. uh, I have. Uh, mine's under the sea. Under the sea. And oh. Sebastian is playing. And Weird conducting. Al's polka band is, yeah. Weird Al's polka band is playing. Yeah. I, what what song are they playing? A lot of shit. They take requests. This is what they're playing. Right, this <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear it. <laughs> they play Linkin Park and Avenged Sevenfold. And <laughs> but they're polka covers. I'm for it. Do I get invited then? Uh, if you're still alive when I'm dead. All right. Yeah, if All you right. come to my and, funeral, and, and fuck and, yeah. And, and, right. and if you're scuba certified, because it's under the sea. That is going right. to be a thing, too. <laughs> okay, I can do that. I can Hell do that. yeah. All right, let's hear this song, please. <laughs> yeah, we're getting too distracted once again. <laughs> Here is the final last finale by CC Sensor. It's the second last finale. It's the second last finale. Oh, this is the last song? Shit. Okay, CC Sensor, the name. That was what I was going to ask. Oh, Before Lord. we get into the very last song. You're going to laugh at me. I just want to know what's behind the name. You're going to laugh at we're me. We're laughing at ourselves. We've laughed so at you this whole time. Yeah. I know. That's okay. But I we're laughing with it. you. Come on. So, but And even with this last song, too, it's like perfect for you to laugh at me also with that. But uh, So the name CC Sensor came from when I was a kid. You know how there was like emo kids and what have you. We were talking about that earlier. Yeah. Oh, so I still was around. a weird brand of alternative kid called a scene kid. Ah. And so, of course, my little scene weenie self was like, I need a C name. All these people online have C names. So, of course, I went on Google and typed, like, how to create a C name. So, they had <laughs> said one of the things that you needed to do was have the first name, the first initial of your first name and the first initial of your last name be the same. So, CC is just shortened for my legal name which is cecilia so cc something that people call me just a normal everyday life even you already went by that yeah i already went by that right um so then i needed a last name and i was like okay so what last names can i come up with that sound cool and edgy right so i was like so i can be cc cemetery or cc censor those were the two that i came up with so i ended up going with cc censor and then changing you know my profile on myspace and facebook and everywhere you know to that name so everyone would know me by that name because i was you know trying to be a scene queen or something um (laughs) so what made you i guess come up with the word censor no idea especially when put up against the word cemetery right i have no idea other things that judas would have picked cemetery no i think that's a little too uh too fond of a point you know 
maybe I just didn't want something like too dark, you right. know? So maybe that's why I defaulted to censor. I also maybe I also felt like there was more of like a like a flow to it. Or you know? So it then it does have a better flow. Yeah. So people just started calling me that, you know, people still to this day think that that's like my genuine last name, you know, <laughs> um, even though I'm like, how is that? E- how would that even be a last name? But um, so that's just kind of what people called me for a really long time. And then when I started writing music and putting it up on the Internet, I still wanted to be in like that sort of scene persona so i uploaded you know covers that i did and stuff like by cc censor right so then when i started doing shows that's what i went by until eventually it kind of just stuck and then we're just here now so really the the alternative scene truly never leaves Indeed. that's the moral of all of this really <laughs> So why don't you go ahead and tell people where they can find your music now? Yeah, so you can find my music on Spotify, iTunes, uh, Apple Music, YouTube, uh, CC Sensor. So C E C E, and then C E C E Sensor. Yeah, so you can find that there. All right, let's have our final finale. Finally, <laughs> <laughs> for finally. the for the forty fifth time. <laughs> CC Sensor. Kid up, you Judas. Free Radio Provo. Thank you all for listening. Brought to you by Derpridge Lee. I'd like to thank you all for joining us on another exciting episode of KW Jesus on Free Radio Provo. We now return you back to our regular free radio programming.